that the things are kept at the right place we should not keep things scattering here and there we may trip and fall off our kitchen and bathroom floor should always be dry else we might fall off don't touch the electrical appliances with wet hands to prevent electric shock we should be careful while climbing up and down the stairs Don't play with knives, scissors and blades. They may harm us. We should always keep the main door locked and should never open it for strangers. Now, you are all pumped enough to go through the chapter. The first topic is safety at home. Here, let us see What are the points we watched in the animation? They are First, keep your toys, bags and books at their proper place. Do not keep them lying on the floor. You might step over them, fall and hurt yourself. Second, do not leave a soap on the bathroom floor third do not keep the bathroom floor wet you might slip on the floor and get badly hurt fourth you should never touch things that run on electricity like oven roaster geyser etc with wet hands fifth do not run while going up or down the stairs you might fall down and hurt yourself sixth do not play with sharp objects such as knives and scissors you may cut your fingers seven always throw wrappers vegetables fruit peels and other waste into the dustbin our second topic is safety at school dear children you should follow certain safety rules in school so that neither you nor your friends get hurt they are first never run around benches in the classroom you might fall down and hurt yourself second do not get into or get down a moving bus always stand in a queue and wait for your turn third never push your friends while playing both 
you and your friends might get hurt you should wait for your turn while playing on swings our next topic is safety on the road they are first do not play on the road second always use zebra crossing to cross roads while crossing the road first look towards your right then left and then right again if it is clear only then cross the road third do not stick your face or any part of your body out of a moving vehicle you may be hit by objects like electric poles and get hurt four follow traffic lights to avoid accidents on roads remember what traffic lights mean red light means stop yellow light means ready and green light means go now let us see what is first aid children emergency treatment given to a sick person or an accident victim before medical help become available is called as first aid first aid we have already seen it in animation coming to the definition of first aid the immediate help given to an injured person is called first aid once again what is first aid the immediate help given to an injured person is called first aid if you get hurt or find anybody hurt seek help of an elder immediately for first aid do not crowd around the injured person you can also call a nearby hospital or an ambulance for help dear children do you know about first aid box yes it is a box containing items used in first aid it consists of the following things they are cotton bandages antiseptic lotions emergency medicines scissors thermometer etc